But, uh, yeah, Coach, what are some of the challenges uh, the uh, Lions uh, special teams, um, you know, face? I guess, I, you know, the punter, the punt returner jumps out with uh, Khalif uh, Raymond, 2.9 again. Well, well, you look at, you know, all aspects of it, especially you speak with the personnel. Um, last couple of years, they really had really good personnel when it came to, you know, the specialists, the returner, and then the core players. And then now you add Dave Phipp into the mix, which has a history of coaching really good special teams. You're going to see th that team's going to play fast. They're very productive. Whether it's in the coverage game, guys are getting off blocks, making tackles, and even in the return game, you brought a Raymond, who averages almost 11 yards of return. Fearless returner, um, he could go east west, put one foot in the ground, go north south, and he runes bigger than how you know than his size at 5'8", 185. And then you know the kickoff returner, number 35, Godwin, a converted safety, so he's physical at nature, and now he's a running back playing for them. And he, not only does he help him in the coverage game, but he provides that opportunity to be a returner for them and kickoff return. So it's going to be a great challenge for us this week. Um, really good personnel over there with the linebackers, DBs, receivers, everybody, tight ends. They have a lot of core special teams players coming from all different areas. And the, uh, it looks like they, I don't know, they have injury issues at the kicker spot. They got four different kickers. I don't know, it looks like Patterson's got it now. Yeah, Patterson is the you know the kicker now. Seven of seven hasn't missed a kick, a field goal or a PAT. Um, since he's been there, it has a strong leg, has the ability to hit it from 50 plus. And again, it's going to be a great challenge. You know, even though they do have a new kicker, he's still they're still um, playing at a high level when it comes to the kicking game. So again, it's going to be a great challenge for us this week, and we, our players look forward to the opportunity. Josh Harris started as a Pro Bowler. I mean, what is he? <laughs> what has he gotten me into the special teams unit in, in the time you've been able to work with him? Well, you know, one, congrats to Josh. And if you had Josh in here right now, you know, he would be speaking about all the other players and coaches that attributed, you know, to him being at that position throughout his career. Um, is well-deserved, long overdue. He plays the game at a high level. Uh, he's great in the classroom, great in the weight room, great on the field. He's a true professional. It's awesome. And, again, it's a blessing to be a part of a um, – a team like this and having a long snapper like Josh that brings so many different tools to the table when it comes to special teams, when it comes to, you know, the cover game, return game. He helps in all aspects. If you ask him to be on the scout team, he'll go on the scout team and help us out with stuff. So he's a true professional, as well deserved. We're excited for him. And it's a, um, you, could, you ask him, he says a team award because it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the other guys on the field helping him out. I feel like we probably asked you this before, but I can't think just off the top of my head. But when it comes to Josh, I mean, what does it take to kind of have the longevity that he's kind of had in the league? I think it's more a lot of the mental and the preparation, you know, the mental aspect of it, because obviously there's a physical aspect of it, and he does a great job taking care of his body, covering kicks, snapping the football, but it's the preparation. You know, it's a hard position. You think about playing the position center, you got to snap the ball and then protect. You know, and that usually the offensive center has his eyes up looking at various rushes. Long snapper, Josh, he has his head down. So he might be looking at a certain protection. He's listening to our personal protector, which is our quarterback, to our punt team. And you could count Josh as our second quarterback because he has to confirm to make sure we're getting in the right calls. He puts his head down, snaps the ball even further than the offensive center, and then now he has to get his head back up and block a, a defender, usually a defensive player that's rushing to go block the kick. So that position's pretty hard. And not only does it take physical um, traits to do that, but it's a mental aspect of it and also the preparation that he does going into the week. He looks at all the rushes from the coordinator's history, um, things that we could anticipate, and we have great dialect when it comes to um, what we're going to go against that week. So we have extra meetings and all that stuff. So the preparation aspect is key, and that's why he's been playing at such a high level for so many years. He didn't get picked for the Pro Bowl, but Cordero, what makes him a special special teams player to you? Again, just, I mean, all the, everything, his, his athletic ability, his size, speed, um, as a cover guy, you know, he could go downfield as an offensive player and tackle. He's fearless when he's carrying the football. He has great break tackle ability. He's able to create. And he's a guy that's very selfless when it comes to playing the game, whether it's blocking for another person like Avery or, you know, being out there. You could say you're carrying the football. How's he selfless carrying the football? But he's out there putting his body on the line, running full speed while people are running full speed at him. So, you know, all those attributes – that comes into play because it takes a different type of person to run full speed while people are running 50 yards full speed at you. 
and he has that ability and he can make people miss and he could at any given time he could take the ball 109 for a touchdown and people change their game plans based on 84 being back there on kickoff return and based on your perspective what what makes him the, the unique talent to be able to switch positions and switch into the backfield and switch into receiver. Being a team player, you know, some people they don't they want to get stuck in just playing this position, honing in. He's gonna do whatever it takes to help the team win, help the offense be in good field position, help the punt team go downfield and control field position, help the kickoff return team flip the field to put, you know, uh, Matt Ryan in our offense and Coach Smith in our offense and good field position. So we're playing at least, a, you know, playing arena football, I say, starting the ball at the 50 yard line. So he has that op that ability to where he'll ask, you ask him, he's like, whatever you need, coach, I'll do it. And whether it's playing on defense, offense, special teams, you know, whatever the case may be, he wants to be, he's a team player and everybody in the locker room and the organization loves him. Turn game, or did was that just a good matchup and you had a good day, or do you feel like that was this measure of, of you know, some kind of progress throughout the year? You know, San Fran they have a physical unit. If you're talking about last week, but as you start looking back, you know, past couple of weeks, we st I said it earlier in the um, training camp and and beginning of the season, you only get better with reps. So. I know you could look at the yards and say, you know, we're getting better, but there's been opportunities where we're one play away, one or one block away, one leverage, missed leverage away from scoring a touchdown. So we only get better with reps. Yes, we did have a better week in the return game last week, and we've been close past couple of weeks, but there's still a lot of room of a uh, lot of room of improvement when it comes to blocking in space, you know, making the right decisions, making the right cut, and those guys are working their butt off to, you know, get it right and make sure that we can put our offense in even better field position, score, or, you know, even score. So we're looking to score or even set up a score. But it's all the little details. And each and every week, we're striving to get better and better when it comes to those basic fundamentals. Do you kind of see that from, from Avery? I know now that he's kind of taking things over in the return game. I mean, just you talk about the reps and the importance of, of having those. I mean, do you see that kind of being, Avery kind of being an example of that? Uh, yes, you know, we trust Avery back there along with CP and all of our other returners that we have back there, Tori, and is making the right decisions, you know, when it comes to when to take the ball out, when to, uh, when not to take the football out, uh, based on the, uh, the player's kick pattern, the, the kicker we're going against his kick pattern, and then the other 10 guys being playmakers for us, making key blocks, whether it's OZ, Keith, you know, um, you talk about James Vodders, Brandon Copeland, you know, Olison, Q's out there playing for us now. Uh, the, on the back side, you have Christian Blake working back there, Darby, all those guys, and they're continuing to find their, you know, find their matchups and getting better with their reps and being able to execute. But you can see Avery is trusting those guys out there. And again, it's getting those guys, um, getting the same, that roster and the right combination of guys, getting used to playing with each other, understanding like, hey, Avery's probably going to make this cut rather than bouncing the ball outside. He's going to probably cut it back or whatever the case may be. And then those 10 guys trusting that Avery's going to make the right decision. So it's a complimentary game when it comes to blocking and it uh, comes to returning the football. All right. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys. Take care. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You guys have a great holiday. Thank you, Coach.